Okay, this little video is going to show you how to create an FAQ. It's going to be a NAF FAQ, but it'll show you how to create it, how to save it, uh, and how to link it up uh, and make it like a web page. Okay, so I'm going to start off. I'm, I've got Word open uh, as the home menu. I'm going to change the view so I can view this as a web page. So if I click on the view ribbon at the top, and then I can say like web layout and it makes it look like a web page then so I'm going to put my title in first so it's going to be FAQ about nothing obviously you need to put your FAQ title in there um, and then you can have a series of questions so this is just in the portfolio guide page 19 so I've got question one how do I win the lottery that's my first question so we're going to have a series of questions at the top and you click on the questions and you jump down to the answers so question two uh, how do i spend my lottery winnings question three um, how do I stop everyone trying to take my lottery winnings away from me? I'll put a question mark at the end. That would probably be a, a good thing to do. Okay, so I'm not going to do any more questions. Um, but what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do the answers but if someone was just browsing this web page um, they'd want to know what the question was the answers for so I'm actually going to copy my questions so control C to copy and I'm going to paste them and then underneath each question I'm going to put the answer so answer for the first one is how do I win the lottery pick the correct numbers that are drawn on Delhi will be the answer to that one how do I spend my lottery winnings so the answer to that one is going to be uh, send your money to me and I will spend it for you and the third question the answer to that one is going to be send your money to me I will look after it so that's a silly FAQ um, obviously yours are going to be more sensible and actually help people revise for the exam that's the whole point of the FAQ document that you're doing and why you're going for all the exam papers okay so that's the structure of it now what we need to do is we're going to make these questions at the top so like question one when I click on them they're going to be hyperlinks so we'll jump down to the answer for that question okay now in order to do that we've got to make the answer parts bookmarks so if we go on to insert and you'll see here there's a bookmark link and a hyperlink link we're going to be using those two in a sec right so we're going to make our bookmarks first so we're going to highlight the repeat of question one okay and we're going to say bookmark and we're going to give it name so i'm going to say question one is what i'm going to call that oh it didn't like having a space in it no spaces for your bookmark names okay so i'm going to call that question one it won't make any difference to the document so I'm going to do the same with question 2 so I'm going to bookmark that in exactly the same way but I'm going to call this one question 2 and add it and then my third one I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to say bookmark and I'm going to call this one question 3 and I'm going to add it make sure you add it and not cancel otherwise it won't work okay so that's made them selectable for hyperlinks right so going back up to the top of my FAQ 
I'm going to make question one a hyperlink. Now, you've got to be dead careful here. When we select things in Word, you see how initially I went from the question mark, but then Word decided to take like an empty bit of space here. That is no good to me. If I hold down left shift and press the left, oops, if I, oh dear God. The easier way of selecting this, the mouse is, is not a good way because it selects that thing at the end. So go put your cursor at the start of the question, hold down shift and press end, the end key. Okay, that'll highlight the whole line. But then if you press, keep shift held down and do left cursor, it'll take that mystery space away. Okay, so as long as we've got, you can do it with the mouse, but you have to be careful because it'll still try and do it. As long as you've got just the text highlighted, click on the hyperlink button. So that's the insert hyperlink. Now, it comes up with this little dialog. If you select on the left hand side places in this document, you should see your bookmarks that you've created. So there's mine, question one, question two, and question three. So I want this first question to link to question one. So I click on OK. To show you that it's made the link, it underlines it. And you can say, move your mouse over and it says control click. So if you do that, hold down control click, it jumps the cursor to the link. Okay, now we can do that for the other two. So just highlight from the left hand side, don't catch that little space at the end. Click on hyperlink, and that one should link to the bookmark question two. And the final one, question three, make sure I've not got the end bit. Okay, so I've only got the text highlighted, no little space at the end. Click on hyperlink and link to question three. Okay, right, we've currently got this as a Word document. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the little button and we're going to say save as, and then we're not going to pick any of these that are here. We're going to select other formats. Okay. Right, so where it says save as type, we're going to click on that and we're going to select web page. Do not select single file web page or web page filter, just select web page. Make sure you're saving it somewhere sensible. So I'm going to save mine on my desktop for this example, but you should save it in your home drive. Check the name, it's sensible, so mine says FAQ about nothing. It's picked it up from the first line. Okay. Right, I can come out of Word now, just for this little demonstration. Right, on my desktop, I've got my FAQ about nothing. So I'm gonna double click that, and that should load Internet Explorer, because it's a web page. There you go, so when I click, it scrolls down. There's not much text on mine, so it didn't scroll much. But you can see that I'm visiting my links. Okay. Right, let's try and edit this. Now, once it's been saved as a web page, if you double click it, it loads Internet Explorer. So that's not a very sensible way of editing it. So we can edit this by right clicking on it and saying edit. And it knows that Word created it, so it loads Word for you. All right. If I want to change one of my hyperlinks, be careful. All you've got to do is highlight it. Make sure you get just the text. Go to insert and then change the hyperlink. So at the minute, it's linking to question one, but I could change it to any other bookmark I wanted. Okay, so I'm just going to, to test this, I'm going to go to question three. So if I move over, hold down left click, just follow me what's on the screen and click. And it's gone to question three. But that only works if you highlight just the text. Okay. I'll change it back to question one. Right, the other thing you might want to do is edit the colour. Okay, so it's blue is what the links look like. Now to do that, make sure the home ribbon is visible. So I've just 
it was on insert I've just clicked up here home and in the styles box there's a little um, well, it's like a little arrow in the bottom right hand corner of it if you click that so where my mouse is now it'll bring this little window up now here is something called the style inspector so these three little buttons at the bottom the middle one says style inspector click on that and that gives you a little window when you've got your text on a particular style so this says text level format in hyperlink because that's what I want to change I can now right uh, I can click on that little arrow button and select modify now this currently shows me that the hyperlink is blue but I'm going to change it to orange for some unknown reason okay so I selected orange uh, it's underlined I'm going to make them bold as well when I click on OK it's changed it okay that's it that's all you've got to do you've actually got to put some sensible content on this all right but you're not going to try and jazz it up in word it's just a web page okay